Now, here's your local South Mississippi news from CBS 22 News. I'm CBS 22's Chris Williams. Hattiesburg police continue to look for three men in connection with a deadly shooting. That's your big story from the Pine Belt. Police say the three men who were last seen in a black pickup truck may be connected to the deadly shooting of 22-year-old Larry Blakely. Police say Blakely was shot and killed in his home Monday afternoon. The Forest County coroner says he died from multiple gunshot wounds. I talk with people in the community, angry over the incident, but hopeful that justice will be served. Deadly shooting is CBS 22's big story. Larry Blakely will never get the chance to see his mother like he had planned to Monday afternoon. He was shot and killed in his home. His mother was only a few blocks away. I was just in a state of shock. I just didn't know until I just got up in the air and I came and I saw one of his friends. I asked him what happened and I asked him was it really true. And what did he say? And he told me, yeah. Blakely leaves behind a one-year-old son in a community angry over the second deadly shooting in the city within a month. 17-year-old Charles Moore was shot and killed in late May. This is a problem that needs to be addressed. And whoever done this, it is wrong. People are surprised about how a tragic incident took place in such a quiet neighborhood. It was a nice neighborhood to me. Quiet. But many are hoping the Hattiesburg Police Department will deliver quick justice and closure for the community and the family. I have my faith in HPD. They will be caught. Your time is running out. For news anytime and to check out our classified section, go to WHOT.com. Trial continues for a man accused of killing an infant. The story tops your moral local news report. Testimony continued Tuesday in the trial against Christopher Logan. The trial is happening at the Forest County Courthouse. Logan is accused of beating a 14-month-old baby to death. The incident happened in March 2004 in an apartment complex on Country Club Road. Lawyers believe the trial could wrap up this week. They are not seeking the death penalty. Southern Miss is training middle and high school students to become the next computer game inventor. Computer gaming camp is being held all this week on campus. Students are learning different types of programs used to make games in different web designs. And that's the beauty of the Alice programming, is that it's a program that's designed to work with kids from very basic beginners to kids that have been programming for several years. And they can move at their own pace. Uh, so it, it allows us to take a wide variety of students that way. I'm really hoping to walk away from the information that helps me just do it myself and not have to rely on other people. The program is for 7th through 12th graders and will end this Friday. The USM's Children's Center gets a huge gift. The Hattiesburg Rotary Club presented a 13500 check to the Southern Miss Children's Center. The donation took place Tuesday afternoon at Southern Oaks. For news anytime and for your live and local Viper weather radar, go to WHLT.com.